Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making these really cute beeswax candles. I have a couple different molds that we're gonna use. They're really easy and they make really great gifts. So let's get started. For this project, we're gonna be using some silicone candle molds. I got these on Amazon and I'll link them in the description below. I have this ball of waxed hemp that I'm gonna use for a wick and I'm using a metal tapestry needle. The only one I could find had this weird flat tip, but a regular tapestry needle will work just fine. A stainless steel pitcher to melt our wax in. For wax, I'm gonna be using a beeswax that's meant for pillar candles. And for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to just show you by holding it in my hands, but I ended up just making a big mess. Okay, so when working with candle molds, this open part will actually end up being the bottom of our candle. The part that's closed off right here is gonna be the top. So the first thing that we need to do is poke a hole through the top of the mold and thread our wick through. So I'm gonna take my tapestry needle and thread it with a piece of wick, and then I'm gonna poke it right through that middle bubble on the top of the candle. Don't worry about the wax melting through this hole. The silicone kind of forms a seal and it won't come out. Just make sure if you are planning on using this mold multiple times that you always thread the wick through the same hole. And while I have my needle and thread out, I'm just gonna do the same to all of my other molds. Since this silicone mold is kind of squishy and we're gonna have to put the top side of the candle on the table to pour the wax into it, we will wanna make sure to put something soft on the table before we do our pour. So let me grab a towel before we get started. I did make sure to use a towel that I didn't really care about getting wax on. And once I had that laid down, I set up all my molds and got them ready to be poured into. I did end up using a skewer to wrap my wick around so it would stand up straight when I did the pour, but to be honest, I'm not sure this step is completely necessary. Once I had all the wicks threaded, I set my molds up and had them ready in place to be poured into. After that, I was ready to melt my wax, so I went ahead and grabbed my scale and my stainless pitcher and measured out 70 grams of wax. Well, actually, I did a little bit more because that never hurt. Now, obviously the amount of wax that you're gonna need will depend on the mold that you're using. You can usually find that information on the packaging or wherever you bought your mold. The next step is to heat up our wax. So I'm gonna set up a double boiler to put my stainless steel pitcher in and I'm gonna heat my wax up until 155 degrees Fahrenheit, making sure to stir frequently so that the wax doesn't burn on the bottom. Do keep in mind that I am using 100% beeswax, so if you're using something different, make sure to double check the temperature requirements. Once my wax hit 155 degrees, it was time to pour. So I just went ahead and poured right into my candle mold. One tip is to make sure that the table that you're using is a level surface, because this will end up being the bottom of your candle and you want it to be as flat as possible. Once I had all of my molds filled, it was time to let them sit and cure. So I let them sit overnight and waited for them to harden. Once they were fully cured, it's time for the most satisfying part, peeling the mold off. This is so satisfying to watch. I almost feel like I should make a second channel of just ASMR demolding videos, but I'll save that for later. Once I had my candle out, it was time to trim the wick, and then it's done. It came out super cute. This is a project that I would definitely do again, and I would love to explore different colors and different scents, and even some different candle shapes. Okay, so this one right here came out a little bit uneven on the bottom. So what I ended up doing was heating my pan up with a sheet of tinfoil on it, and I pressed the bottom of my candle onto the tinfoil to melt it enough to get it to be level. I didn't film that part, but I did want to mention it just in case you run into the same issue. Okay. 
and that's it. Here we have all of the candles in their glory, and to be honest, they look pretty professional. This is a super simple project that I had a lot of fun with, and I would 100% do it again. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw and you wanna see more, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.